Okay, so I wanted to show you a little tip here using groups and components. Uh, the other day I drew this island here, um, and I had been putting the countertops in, and I wanted to round the corners of this raised section here on this island. So I have it here as a group, and as we know in SketchUp, when you have a, a group of geometry, you can sort of move it as one unit, and it keeps your items protected from other things. So this top countertop is a group. This lower countertop is also a group. This wall is a group, and these cabinets below here are groups as well. So what I did is I just double-clicked in my group, so I was able to edit it, and I just started adding arcs and that sort of thing. I wanted to round off the corner here. And I did a couple corners, and then I realized, well, I've got to do the same thing on the other side, and I'm doing the same thing twice. And since I'm just putting these arcs in, I'm not really figuring out exactly their size. I'm just making them for the picture. I was afraid that once I got to the other side that I wouldn't be able to duplicate uh, the exact same arc. So it occurred to me that I should use components. So what components are and how they differ from groups is like this. So if I make this cube here a group and I copy it over here and I edit the first cube, the second cube that I made stays the same. Now. If I had taken that same cube, and when I secondary or right-clicked it, instead of saying make group, if I said make component, something different happens. This little menu pops up, and I can name it. I can just say, we'll call it cube at this point, and we'll put it in, in there. And now I will move and copy it just like I did before and put it over here. But now things are going to be a little different. If I edit this first cube, the second cube edits as well. So it's the second cube is an exact copy of the first one. And no matter what I do to the first cube, it happens to the second cube. And it actually doesn't matter. I could edit the second cube and the first one will change. So this is a really cool feature. You can actually put this to really good use when you're doing symmetrical uh, objects. And I'll show you how I did it on this countertop. So this countertop is obviously symmetrical. So what I did was I went inside the group and I just drew a line across the middle and used the line tool here and found the midpoint. Drew a line across and just used the push-pull tool to sort of get rid of uh, that section. And then I went back out and I can actually right or secondary click this and just say make component. So nothing really amazing happens but it's actually turned into a component. So what I can do next is I can move this or move copy it over here I can right click it because I want the exact mirror image of this and I can say flip along components red and if you if you say flip along um, the directions that it gives you are red green and blue which are SketchUp's um, axes so red and green go along the floor and blue points towards the sky so it's typically for stuff like this it's either red or green and if it doesn't work uh, it doesn't turn the right way the first time just hit undo and try the other direction to get it right so now what I can do is I'll take my move tool here and I'll attach these two tops together. And now, if I double click in here and I start putting those arcs in that I was doing earlier, you'll see what happens. So we'll put our first arc in here, something like that. I'll move over here with my push-pull tool and I'll just clean off that little section and check it out. We've got the same arc that happened on the other one. So since these are components, no matter what I do to one side, it will happen to the other side. So very, very useful for doing symmetrical stuff. Now, the only other thing I had to do is I don't want this seam in the middle here because in real life I would actually have this countertop made as one piece. So if I double click on this countertop, I can edit it. Now you still see grayed out the other component. So there's a couple ways. What we're going to do here is we're actually going to erase the lines that are on the side here uh, so that we don't see them. So if we go to View and we go down to Component Edit, we can say Hide Rest of Model, which will hide everything else in the model, but it still doesn't get us quite what we want because we still want to be able to see the, the other side without this, uh, the right side of this countertop in here. So we can go to View, Component Edit again, and select hide similar components. So it's not erasing the other component, it's just hiding all the ones that are just like it. So, to erase these edges. Now, 
as we know, if I took my erase tool and I just erased that line, it actually ruins our countertop. If you look along the bottom of SketchUp, down here, it's it says select items to erase or drag across multiple items, but it says shift to hide. So if I hold down the shift key and I erase this line, it just hides it. So I'll erase the top line, that front line, and by holding shift, I'll erase the back line here. Now I've just hidden those lines, but they're still there. So what happens is when I click out and see the whole thing, I only had to do that to one side because they're components. So it actually hid those lines that seam, that seam that we had right here on both sides. So when they come together, they look completely seamless. And they're still, here we'll go to component edit and we'll unhide similar ones. So still anything that I do to one component happens to the other. And take a look over there on the right and you'll see that I was able to take that corner off. So great little tip. Um, you can use this on countertops and basically anything that you're doing um, that's symmetrical or anything that you're doing really that's repeating over and over again, making a component out of it will make you a much more efficient modeler.